It is my 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 Skywalker. That looks legit. Like that doesn't look like a toy. <laughs> Going, we don't Daisy, good to see you again. How are you? Good. You have such a great voice. My God. Oh, thank you. I'm actually from Texas and I have a southern accent. Accent. I had to take non-regional diction to learn how to cover it up. So this is like Oh, no, it's great. Voice, so commanding. Thank you. All right. All right. That's a good start. Um, so, so good to see you. Uh, hi from Chicago. It's just me and my dog here hanging out. Um, nice. So I just want to say congratulations on this. Um, you know, I'll say I really love the idea of, of a person's thoughts so, sort of being physically visible. And mm. you've worked with some truly great actors in your career. Of mm. all the actors you've worked with, whose thoughts would you most want to see sort of visualize? And what's the moment that you two shared that you would have loved to have seen his thoughts during? I don't, I wouldn't want to see anyone's. I think it's very interesting that you think it sounds like a great concept because it literally sounds like my idea of hell. Um, it, what situation have I been in? Do you know what? <laughs> so I didn't work with him, but I met, so I actually won't say who it was, but very famous Australian actor at a party. And he talked about somewhere in Australia. My sister had been there and sort of half joined a cult. So like, I was like waffling on at him about like the cult that my sister joined. And honestly, I mean, I didn't even need to read his thoughts on his face. He was like, what are you talking about? Can this conversation be over? Oh, it was awful. So he's a, he's a famous Australian actor. We'll leave it at that. Is he, uh, would, would he be the, uh, perhaps a god of thunder? <laughs> That's it. I'll leave it there. It could be anybody. We'll leave it there. Um, I, I know that you filmed uh, this movie a few years ago. Obviously, a lot has happened in that time. I'd imagine that you've changed a lot. You've grown a lot. You've learned a lot. What is the biggest difference between sort of the Daisy Ridley in this movie and the Daisy Ridley I'm talking to right now? Wow. Um, I think, I guess, particularly over the last year, when I was talking to my friend about this the other day, he's a dancer, and we were talking about like the social validation you get from being at work, particularly as a creative person when work comes and goes. I guess the biggest thing now is feeling a bit more comfortable in the, um, I don't know, I think we've all had to reassess what it is that's important and what it is that gives us a validation. Um, so probably that, like being okay uh, out of work. It sounds so superficial, but you know, like we get a lot from our jobs. So I think basically being okay with, with it, yeah, not having that. I, I get that. I mean, I used to travel all the time to see you guys and now, you know, I'm here in my dining room. So yeah. it's definitely not, uh, it's not the same. I totally yeah. get that. Um, so speaking up here in my dining room, I'm, I've, I've geeked out with you many times before. I'm, I'm a big movie nerd. So much so that, I mean, it's just me and my dog here. I basically live in a man cave full of like movie memorabilia and nice. I a signed poster from, from you in the, in the Star Wars cast. Nice. And a lot of times my, my friends and family will come over and they'll be like, dude, you like you got to put some of this stuff away. Like in my, all my buddies say, like, dude, you're never gonna get a, get a, get a girlfriend with this thing laying out. Hilarious. So there's one item in particular um, that they always make fun of me for, and I kind of wanted to give you sort of the final say as okay. to whether it, it stays out or whether it goes back. Sure. So this is like my pride and joy. Amazing. And it is my, it is my 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 Skywalker. That looks legit. Lightsaber. Like that doesn't look like a it's, toy. I got it at a uh, celebration. Nice. And uh, and so. All my buddies say, like, dude, like, you gotta, you're 33 years old, you gotta put that away. You would be the expert on both being a professional and being able to play with toys. So where do, where do you stand on, on grown men having stuff like that? You do you. If it makes you happy, you don't want to meet someone and, you know, it be under false pretenses that you're not a massive nerd. Like, you want to meet someone and the love is real and they, like, know that about you and they love that about you. You keep that lightsaber out. And one day, someone will really be into that. Fair enough. As we wrap up, last time I spoke with John Boyega, he toured me around his house, and he has Star Wars stuff all oh, over. Do you yeah. have stuff around your house? I have, like, I might have a lightsaber, like a, a real one somewhere. I always worry that when I say that, people are going to, like, rob me of a lightsaber. So maybe I have one. I have some bobbleheads. I have some great soy sauce things from Japan gorgeous um that's yeah that's about it yeah 
That's awesome. That's yeah. some great stuff. Okay, yeah. so like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. kind of have our yeah. stuff around. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Thank um, you. It's always so great to talk to you. I really hope you and your family are doing well. And hopefully Thank next you, time we too. get to chat, I'll be in person again. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye, Daisy. Bye. Where we're going, we don't need roads.